When, when somebody is a complete original, it's the most wonderful example you could have. When I heard him play, I was like, this is what I want to do. This guy is a badass. There's so many mandolin players that are so great. They get younger and younger, and they, they develop this and that, but he's the perfect combination of technical skill and guts. This is a connection. This man and I understand each other. It's pretty cool to be a father of something. Um, and to start out as a brother, though, to grow up with other people, to share in that process, and then to carry that spirit forward. He's a very unique guy, and, and I think he's an American treasure. I really do. And you just believe everything that he's singing and everything, every note that he's playing. He's just got so much fire and intensity behind it. And you just want to kind of get on that plane with him and get on that level and, 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 uh, and, and, and hang with him up there, you know? There's only one Sam Bush, you know? I mean, he, he functions outside of bluegrass as well as he functions inside of it. And any music that is lucky enough to have him as a collaborator in it is gonna be better music. The thing about Sam is he can play as traditional as you want. He can, you know, he's a master at the way other players played, you know? You know, I'm sure Sam can play every solo note for note that Bill Monroe ever played. But he's not locked into that because he is Sam Bush and he, uh, there are gonna be young people that are gonna be copying Sam Bush solos, you know. And that's the way music progresses and stays fresh and, and, and keeps, uh, keeps uh, having some meaning for each generation. You know, if you look at someone who defines a genre of music like Bill Monroe, uh, he also has a lot of rules, Sam, is his own genre except note rules.